you doing? It's your girl came back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys saw my title. We are going to be unboxing and trying out a T3 flat iron. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask if you're new to my channel. Welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, help me grow. By now, there would have been a video on my channel about my experience with T3 curling iron. And it was so good that the same day I filmed that video, I went online and ordered a flat iron. I know. And I spent $74.99 for it. So yes, you saw the little picture on my you know on the video correctly like I do think it's worth the original price I just don't want to pay those prices for it now it was an open box on um, on eBay um, so I got a really good deal but it's a t3 Lucia if that's how you pronounce it you guys know yeah Lucia professional styling digital ceramic flat iron so even though I have a flat iron as you guys have heard me mention I have a flat iron that's on a forever borrow because I told the person straight to their face I wasn't going to give it back to them. Well, now they can have it back because I was so impressed um, with my experience with the curling iron that I was like, I need a flat iron from them. Like, if this is what their curling irons can do, I can only imagine how good their flat iron is going to be. So, I picked that up from, uh, from eBay and I got it at a steal. $75. But we are going to unbox it together. And then, um, this wig I recently had a little bit of a backtrack. Um, if you guys watch my film and day vlog, then you would see where I talked about color. This is one of the wigs that I, um, tinted the lace and I did it really dark because that's what I, the look that I was going for at the time. Um, and I tried something to get the lace to be a little bit lighter, so I ended up having to wash the front of the wig. So the back is already curled from the other curl line, the other flat iron, I should say. I'm gonna curl the front, um with this flat iron so we're gonna try it out and see if I'm as impressed with the flat iron as I was with the curl iron so let us see it just I don't know how to describe it if you guys haven't tried it um I would recommend that you do it just it just glides through the hair like I I mean yeah it just glides through the hair I don't know why I smell these things. Anyway. So doesn't the flat iron open a little bit more than that? But I guess I'm not really used to flat irons. But it's pretty. It's a pretty flat iron. And I'm not one for like my curling tools to be like white. But I do like how these look. Oh, that's a lot better. I was trying to figure out why the lighting in here was so bad, but. I had turned the lighting up because I thought I couldn't see in one of my videos before and it just does not work for the camera but we're gonna plug this in let it heat up now I'm not gonna put any heat protection in this wig um, because I use the Redken bonding kit don't quote me on it that's how you call it um, on this hair and they tell you not to use anything else. The third option is like a leave-in and it already has a heat protectant built into it. So I'm not going to add any more products to it. As you guys have heard me mention, I damage a lot of hair and this is one of them. So I decided to use that on this. So with the curling iron, that's what it sounds like. It's an open box and it's not working. But you have to double click it, which I think is what I had to do with the... Um, no, I think, I can't remember. Watch the video, I'm gonna link it down below. But needless to say, I was impressed. I don't like reading instructions either. It's not fun. I'll do it like as a last resort if I can't just like figure it out without breaking whatever it is I have, I'm trying to figure out. I legit hate reading instructions. It's, it's so tedious. And it has this, I noticed that on the other one, um, that it swivels here, which I really really like if you guys now I take really good care of my things So I I don't I was gonna say I don't think I've ever run into that But I have I don't I've never run into where the wires have frayed here But it's nice that it swivels so that you would avoid that just in general. So it's a nice little feature um, I don't know what setting I, I should probably read the instructions, but I'm not going to now with the curling iron um, Out the box it was set a little bit high and I just left it and then I realized once I started using it that I didn't need it that hot But we are just going to try this out and See how it works and again 
I was really impressed with that T3 curling iron. What I liked is just how effortlessly it just glided right through the hair. So I'm hoping to have that same experience with this. I don't want to say it's better. And this wig has been sitting and some days it gets humid in my vlog room. So I don't know if that's the reason why. But I don't know if you guys can see just... I don't know. The hair here has a little bit more luster than the hair over here. Again, it could just be the humidity, but I am here for it. I'm definitely here for it. I want to say like I feel as though it was like that the day that I curled it. Cuz I actually took a I actually did a video and I do remember it looking like I don't want to say like lackluster, but I feel as though it looked lackluster. Yeah. This is definitely, I don't know how to describe it. I never like to talk about anything else when I'm talking about um, this particular product or any product in general. I'll show you guys the flat iron. I'm gonna show you a picture of it. So this is the flat iron. If you guys have ever seen me, you can see by the price. It's not a cheap flat iron, it's $160. And I know this person paid that for it because that's the life that they're about. And it works, it just doesn't work like this. Like the hair just, I don't know, it, it feels, I don't want to go over and curl the entire thing, but I may have to because I'm going to say I'm OCD, but if you guys know, you know. It's going to bug me that all of it isn't as smooth as the top. It's, it's definitely a lot smoother. I'm going to fast forward the rest of this. But. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to smooth out the ends just because again, um, this flat iron is giving a different feel like I mentioned before somewhere on the screen I'm not sure exactly where it just is yet I'm gonna put what this wig was looking like before I ran it through this flat iron again and this was gonna be the same day that I actually curled it so definitely seeing a difference I mean you guys will be able to see it I'm gonna try to hold up to the camera so this is a curl that I just smooth out this one right here and you can see like it the ends I mean the hair is damaged I damage it but you can see where the ends look a little bit different than the portion that I did not straighten out so you guys know I keep it real with you here on my channel um, I would definitely say it's worth it uh, worth the investment even at their regular price it's worth it like I I like it I'm a fan I'm definitely a fan I don't want to say it's like night and day, but you can like feel this. Where has this flat iron been all my life? Pretty much is how I'm feeling. And I honestly, I'm, before YouTube, would have never thought that, you know, little things like this make a difference on how your hair actually looks. But I'm a believer. I am a believer. I am no longer going to be using any of the irons that I used in the past because it just doesn't give the same effect that this does and this is not even like all the way up I don't even know what setting I have it on I'm gonna show you guys in a, in a quick second and I don't know how to read any of that but this is where it's set to it's like halfway up I don't know if you guys can see it it may not focus but it's like set to halfway I'm not sure what setting that's on but it's working it is definitely working okay so I'll tell you guys what's going through my head um, and it's a little bit different for me typically whenever I use a flat iron I always get like tension with the hair I'm not getting that with this like it's just I don't want to say like it's gliding but it almost feels as though it's not doing anything even though you guys can clearly see it's doing something 